The Legend of the Oldest Animals There was once an eagle who lived in Gwernabwy Woods in Scotland, and he was the first of his kind ever known there. He and his mate had young ones through nine generations and far beyond that still. He had seen countless numbers of them possessing all the woods and rocks of the island of Britain. But at last the old mother eagle died, leaving her grey old eagle a lonely widower, destitute of friends and with no one to console and cheer him in his old age. So depressed in spirit and sad of heart, he thought to marry an old widow of his own age. And after much searching, he courted the old owl of Cwm Colwyd in North Britain, and they became engaged. But one thing greatly concerned him. He did not wish to weaken his tribe by having children by her. Better, therefore, said he to himself, to inquire of the ones who are older than me just how old she is. That way I will know if she is past the age of childbearing. So he flew to the vast forests of Gwent and soared through the wooded hills until he came upon his old friend, the stag of Redinvray, who was older by far than himself. Perched on a gnarled oak tree, he asked the stag if he knew the age of the owl and when she'd had her children. The stag slowly raised antlers as covered with moss as the forest boughs and gazed at him with ancient liquid eyes. After a while he said, Look here, my old friend, at the oak by which I lie. It is now no more than a withered old stump without leaves or branches, but I remember seeing it an acorn of the tallest tree of this forest, and it grew into an oak, and it was three hundred years in growing, and after that three hundred years in its strength and prime, and after that three hundred years decaying before death, and after that... It will be three hundred years returning into earth. It is now in the sixtieth of its last one hundred years, and the owl has been old since I remember her. None of my kin ever saw her when she was young, or knew of her having any children. But I have an old friend who might know. Go ask the salmon of Lindlovin, he should know something of the history of the old owl. The eagle soared away to the lake and found the salmon as he floated motionless in its black depths. Balancing on a branch of an alder tree that hung over the still water, he leaned down and asked the salmon if he knew the age of the owl and when she had had children. The salmon stirred and caused the faintest of ripples in the water. He whispered, A number of scales and spots on me, and the number of grains of spawn that I contain, are the numbers of the years of my age. And I have always known the owl to be an ancient old ghost. None of my friends who are old when I was young can remember her otherwise, or know when she had children. There is only one creature who might know. Go to my friend, the Oozel of Kilguri. It could be he has your answer. The eagle glided down through a rocky gorge where a river flowed and found the Oozel perched on a piece of hard flint, contemplating a worm he had just caught for breakfast. He landed on a white boulder nearby and asked him the age and the history of the owl. The oozel fixed a beady eye on him and said, See how small this little stone is under me? It will fit in the hand of a child of seven years, but I have seen it a load for three hundred yoke of the largest oxen. 
yet it was only ever worn away by my cleaning my beak upon it once every night before going to sleep, and brushing the point of my wings upon it every morning when I hopped down from my thorn-bush. I cannot remember how old I am, yet I never saw the owl younger than she looks to-day, and none of my friends have the slightest recollection of her having children. But there is one a great deal older than I, and older than my father besides. Go find the toad of Korsvokno in Keredigion, and ask him. If he knows not, I know of none who does. The eagle flew to the swamps of Korsvokno, where he found the toad squatting by a muddy pool, lying in wait for flies. Swaying from a clump of reeds, he asked him the age of the owl. The toad blinked at him with roomy yellow eyes and croaked, My only food is the dust of the earth, and I never can eat my fill. Now look at those large hills around this bog. Where they stand I have seen plain ground, and I have eaten as much earth as they contain. Beyond all memory of the years since I was born, but I have always seen the owl as the ancient of days, an old grey hag crying to whoot to woo in the woods the long winter nights, frightening the children and disturbing everybody. I never heard of her giving birth, but I saw the youngest of her great-granddaughters, who themselves were old hags far beyond the age of bearing young. Then the eagle knew he could marry the owl and take her for his mate without weakening his tribe. And so it was known from the courtship of the old eagle who were the oldest creatures in the world. And they are the eagle of Gwernabwy, the stag of Redenvray, the salmon of Lintleven, the ouzel of Kilgori, the toad of Korsvokno, and the owl of Cum Colwyd. And no other living thing had their beginning in the morning of this world, unless that be the land of Britain itself.